All right, today is a very special day. Uh, very excited because today I'm going to unbox. A new projector. All right, so let's get this projector open. All right. So I'm actually gonna put it on the ground because uh, my camera setup is just not big enough to hold all this stuff. This is the Epson Pro G79. 05U. Now we have a handful of other Epson, I'm trying to look around to see what the model number is. We have a handful of other Epson projectors. I've been really liking the three LCD technology, um, super bright performance in the courtroom setting where the lighting conditions are a little challenging. But um, we have two of those. They are 6,000 lumen projectors, uh, medium throw and in uh, matte black and I think they are beautiful projectors. I love them. But this week has been particularly busy and uh, we had to send out one uh, setup for a courtroom with our small projectors. They are BenQ uh, 4000 lumen projectors. Um, they're nice, but they're not as good as the Epson's. And so when I had to send that one out, actually they just, uh, they had opening statements today um, and it looked fine. Uh, the case isn't that uh, complex. It's a MedMal case that involves mostly just documents. Um, so they don't really need a huge projector, um, but I ordered another one anyway. The downside was that projector has been discontinued, and so I couldn't get that one. Um, I called up my rep at Projector People, which full disclosure, uh, they are not sponsoring this at all, um, but they are a good source for projectors. Uh, I've been buying projectors for them for about 10 years now. And um, I called my rep or I emailed my rep and instantly right away she said, we don't have any more of those in stock. They're discontinued, but she suggested another one, uh, which was a 500 lumens bump and like $2,000 cheaper than the last projector that I bought. Uh, but it was only in white. I hate white projectors. So I got the next one that was available in black. That's the G7905U. And let me show it to you now. Here it is. This thing is gigantic. It's gigantic. I love it. All right. Let's get some of this tape off. Okay. So here is the projector. It is magnificent. It's about the same size as the other projectors that we have. Now, a couple of things that I really like about this particular projector, HD base T input. That's really important to me. All my switchers amplifiers now export out to either HDMI or HD base T. So that way I can run uh, Cat6 cables or Cat5e cables and get a signal that way. So it has all the other inputs that you think you might need. The other thing that I really like is this right here, the quick corner makes adjusting and calibrating to your screens super fast. That's a projector. I love the color. I love the finish. It comes with all this stuff on it to project, to protect the lens uh, in transit. And so let me take this off. Whew. That is a much beefier lens than the one on my current Epson's. Uh, but the overall design language is very, very similar. So it looks like a big kind of like jet turbine intake. I'll take off some of this tape, protective tape, get that off. All right. Okay, comes off like that. And this stuff comes off here. Look at that, now that is no joke in there. But this is if you were to change the lens, they have shorter throw lens, they have a longer throw lens, but just kind of the medium throw lens that it comes with, I think it's probably gonna be enough for me. Um, Cause I think I need somewhere in like the 1.4 to 1.6 throw ratio for the rooms that we're in, in terms of where we place the projector and our screens, which are like a hundred and, uh, you know, they're 120 inches wide, 
uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I think like 138 inches diagonal. Okay, now, now most of this other stuff I don't really need. I don't really use it. But let me get it unboxed and you can see kind of what, what else you get. But we've got... All right. CD, a DVD, a CD, other uh, documentation, you need it. And then a bag of cables and the remote. So you've got, that's VGA, power cable. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a, like a cover for a switch. I'm not sure. We've also got The remote, which I don't understand why there's so many buttons, but I mean, usually I just put this in the case and it never comes out because we custom uh, program remotes for our clients to use. The last thing is this shell. So this always kind of reminds me of, It's like if you bought a car and it came with a spoiler that you could put on yourself, that's what this is. This sits on the back, sits on the back of the projector and um, covers up some of the cables that are coming out of it if you need that. I usually don't put this on um, because it just takes up extra space inside the case. But that's the projector. I'm gonna get it fired up just to get some, make sure the settings are right and make sure everything looks good. That's going to be kind of hard to depict uh, in a video. Uh, but instead, maybe I'll just show you some uh, unnecessary slow motion glamour shots of the projector.